In AMC 1 and in clinical practice itself, it's important to remember the different cutoffs in cancer surveillance. Hopefully, I can provide a deeper understanding of this subject, touch on high-yield topics, and discuss a few sample questions as well, starting off with colorectal cancer. Patients are categorized according to their risks. The average risk patients are those who are asymptomatic, with no family history, or one first-degree or second-degree relative with colorectal cancer diagnosed at 55 years or beyond. Surveillance is done by doing an FOBT every one to two years from 50 years old up until they're 74 years old. Take note that colonoscopy is not recommended among these patients. Meanwhile, moderate risk patients are those patients who are asymptomatic with one first or second degree relative diagnosed at less than 55 years of age. So we do FOBT every one to two years from 40 to 49 years old, followed by colonoscopy every five years from 50 to 74 years old, or 10 years earlier than the youngest relative, whichever is earliest. So for example, if the patient has a relative who's diagnosed to have colorectal cancer at 50 years old, 50 minus 10 years, that's 40 years old. So we can do colonoscopy as early as 40 and not wait until the patient has turned 50. Lastly, those patients who do not belong to the first two categories are classified as high risk. These patients include those patients who are asymptomatic with more than three first or second degree relatives diagnosed of colorectal cancer on the same side of the family, or those who have more than two first or second degree relatives on the same side. However, they must have been diagnosed of colorectal cancer at less than 50 years of age. Or patients who have one first or second degree relative with suspected FAP or familial adenomatous polyposis. Those patients who are suspected to have FAP or Lynch syndrome, also known as HNPCC or hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Remember that this is associated with ovarian or uterine cancer as well as skin cancer. And those patients who have somebody in their family with identified family mutation, like APCG mutation. So what we could do is to first refer these patients for genetic screening, followed by referral to bowel cancer specialist for surveillance. And usually what we do is FOBT every two years, as early as 35 years, up until they're 44 years old, followed by colonoscopy until they reach 74 years old. Take note, however, that if the patient's relative has already been diagnosed with FAP, we must screen them earlier and not wait until they're 35. So we can do flexible sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy annually as early as 12 years old, up until they're 35 years old, then every three years thereafter. But if their relative is diagnosed with Lynch syndrome, then we could do colonoscopy every one to two years from 25 years old or five years earlier than the youngest, whichever is earliest. Now, what's important for you to remember are the ages that these tests are initiated. Note that as the risk becomes higher, it's aptly so that we must screen them earlier. Like for the FOBT, which is done at 50, 40, and 35 for average, moderate, and high-risk patients, respectively. This is also true, of course, for colonoscopy. You can then make a quick note on your sticky note for you to easily remember this, few hours before your exams. For average, FOBT is done at 50, moderate at 40, followed by colonoscopy when they reach 50, 
For high risk, FOBT is done at 35 up until they're 44, followed by colonoscopy thereafter. And the cutoff age for their relatives is more than 55 years for average, less than 55 years for moderate, and less than 50 for high risk. Again, for FOBT, 50, 40, 35. For colonoscopy, 50, 45. For the ages, more than or equal to 55, less than 55, and less than 50. Now, let's put this knowledge into practice. Here's a sample question. A 48-year-old man seeks for colorectal cancer screening. He is asymptomatic, but family history is remarkable for an older brother who has been diagnosed with colon cancer at the age of 56 years. Which is the most appropriate surveillance to be done? A. Colonoscopy should be performed now. B. FOBT now. C. Colonoscopy now, then yearly thereafter. D. Colonoscopy now, then every five years thereafter. Or E. No screening is needed. So note that the age of his brother is more than 55 years old, making him of average risk. So we must do an FOBT at the age of 50. Colonoscopy is only done for selected patients, and this patient is neither of moderate nor of high risk. And so we can easily cross out A, C, and D. FOBT should be done but not until he reaches 50. This patient is only 48. And so the answer is letter E. No screening is needed at this time. I hope this video helps you remember the important cutoffs. If you want to read further, then you can always go back to the RACGP Red Book, which is much more detailed. If you have other ways of remembering this topic, you're free to share in the comments so other IMGs can benefit as well. Next topic will be on breast cancer. Oh. <laughs>